Hello again from Ravelry. In this video, we're going to talk about your projects. Projects can also be referred to as works in progress. I've cleared mine. There's no ways I'm going to show you all my whips. Ha! Not a chance, baby. Not a chance. I shall keep quiet. Okay, now you can do this two ways. The first way I don't like, I actually think Ravelry should really upgrade this function a little bit, but I'll show you anyway. You go to your library, because that's where all your board patterns are, and you select the pattern that you want to start with today. All right, so let's go for this one. Baby Kylie, suppose that I want to start this project now. Ideally, I think, in my opinion, and this is actually a very valid opinion because I used to be a business analyst. I used to write the specifications for computer systems and test them. So I think that the BA, whoever designed this, has missed something. Okay, I want something here that says cast on or start project or something, but it's not there. So I have to click on the pattern now so that the next page will open and it's taking forever and then I have to go there to open the thing and once I've got the full pattern page open only then can I say cast on so if I say cast on now that means I'm starting that project today I'm casting it on right now yeah I'll create this project and now I can keep track. Now, why is this so brilliant to do? Because you have works in progress. If you're like me, you're working on a few things at the same time. And some of them use the same needle size. So I take the needles off the one and I put needle holders there. And two months down the line, I go back and I'm like, oh, I can't remember what size needle I used. If I had made proper use of this project function offered by Ravelry, it will be a breeze because now I can just go and say, okay, fine, let me take this whole thing in and let's put the needles in and everything else. And then if I come back after a while, then I will know exactly uh, if, if anything in the pattern isn't nice and I'm um, I want to make a note for somewhere else or whatever. This is the place to do it so that when I come back to this project in a month or two, I will have all the information I need here. Okay. The other way you can do this is not to start from your library. I actually like to start from my favorites because I seldom use a pattern twice. It will be in my favorites until I use it and then I will chuck it out of my favorites and it will sit in my library and I will only fetch it there again if it's really, really, really something nice. So I usually go for my favorites and I think like, hmm, which one am I going to make now? Or, um, like I showed you in the previous video, I line up my project. So let's go to that. We've lined up our queue of projects. So there's a whole queue there waiting to be cast on. And I can simply say, all right, I'm ready for this one. Start the project. Um, I've changed my mind since our previous one. I want to start this one now. I don't want to start number one. I'm starting on number two. And that is why I said all the best of luck from you. Now, look what happens. I'm ready to start this project and it will automatically delete the project from my queue. It's no longer something that I'm planning to do. This is active. It will now move from the queue to the project. So it is now a work in progress. So you see, Ravelry is absolutely amazing. It can really, really help you stay focused, help you remember what you've done, what you wanted to do, what needles you've used, what notes you've made, or whatever. And then this will now stay there. It shows in progress. Um, the start date I haven't set. I just assumed it will be today. And completed, it is a work in progress. And that is it. I hope you enjoy this. This is a short video, but it's powerful. 
um, it really helps. I, I can't tell you how many times I've picked up a work in progress and I couldn't remember what needle size I used because oftentimes my tension differs from that of the designer and when I make the swatch I choose a different needle and then I can't remember which one. So this is the answer to that little thing. Um, by the way, uh, this is also the, the keep me accountable thing because if you're um, if the projects go like 20, you've got a problem, go <laughs> Reduce them, finish them, do something, frog them if you have to, but reduce the projects. Um, how many do I have at the moment? Hmm. Two. Three. I have three. I actually have three. I took them all out this morning, but yeah, I have three. I have two for Abigail. No, I have one for, one for Abigail, one for myself, uh, two for myself here. I have three works in progress, so I have three projects. I will go and update my Ravelry after the videos to sort that out again. So that is your project. Okay, now what is left here? I'm quickly going to touch on that. What is left that we haven't touched on is the tools. I don't bother with that, and I'll tell you why. I don't have masses of tools. I have a full Chaogu set of knitting needles. Um, I also have the Chaogu um, lace knitting needles. And as far as crochet hooks go, I have the full Tulip Itimo row set, and that is it. Um, I do have doubles, but I don't bother documenting my needles at all. They are in my bag. They're always with me. So I've never gone through the tool thing. You can go and explore that. If you have a need for it, I don't. I have a set, a set, a set, and they always together, so I don't bother. I hope this helps you. And the only one we have left now, we're going to dive into Ravelry's social side. That's a great one. I'll see you in the next video.